We can video record students and ask them questions and go to, I guess, the different political leaders around here and interview them and find out why they think Global Zero is an important initiative and campaign. Hey, I heard you are going to give a speech today in front of the plenary session, is that right? That's true. Yeah. What, what, what are you going to say and why are you speaking? Hello, my name is Alexandra Francis. No, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm speaking about my work at Davidson College starting a Global Zero chapter there. It's going to be cool! <laughs> why, why do you yes. believe Global Zero is a cause worthwhile fighting for? Global Zero is a cause worth fighting for because if, if we don't win for Global Zero, then every other cause loses as well. I wanted to know, like, wh why do you think that Global Zero is a cause worthwhile fighting for? Uh... It is important that we fight for it because if we don't want those nuclear weapons to land in the hands of terrorists and all that, so it's better you either fight for this cause right now, make this choice and just make it work, you know, we can do it together, especially the young people. So that's why. Thank you. It's the topic itself is important and it's important to get it more on the public uh, itself. And why do you choose to fight for global uh, For political aspects and my uh, physic knowledge and physic interest. Why do you fight for Global Zero? Because mm, mutual distrust between nations uh, doesn't solve anything and if we can create war with nuclear weapons then I think it will prove that we can just about do anything uh, which is what the world needs so I'm trying to work things back in Britain uh, to make sure that we're not an impediment to the challenge and it's just hard for me to see people from China and Russia and Israel and Pakistan and every, everyone else all working together. So I do think it's possible and that's why I'm here. You came all the way from Japan to okay. attend this Global Zero Summit, right? Mm -hmm. Why do you think it's worthwhile fighting for Global Zero? Well, um, we actually kind of connect these, like, the effect of nuclear weapon with strategic stuff and like with technique and all that stuff. So I'm really um, compelled how the different field are coming together to do, to pursue one goal. So that like what is what is your what is your best experience at a summit so far? Um, oh, last night the, at the gala dinner because I just got to sit with all these really like cool, amazing people who are so important. I think a lot of them are from like the Arab world and like. I just learned so much from them about like policy in the Arab world, and nuclear weapons, and how they felt about um, Global Zero and the summit, and it was just very enlightening. Can you tell us what they felt and what you learned? Um, well, I, mean, I learned that like some of, I guess with um, like Arab policy, they kind of had some reservations with certain aspects of Global Zero, but like overall in general, like they're really for the cause. Um, and then, so I, and then they were just talking about like pol regional politics a lot because it was the secretary general of the Arab League at my table, and he was just amazing because he knew everything. So it was as, exciting. As an American, what do you think is the role of your student chapter in the overall goal of Global Zero? Um, just to kind of get, I guess, just to educate students about the issue because it's not a huge deal in the United States at this point. So I think that that's my main goal as of now. And once people get educated, then there's, I think, more of like movement, you know, like pro, like not protest, but just like getting action done. But now I think our main role is education. So I got involved with Global Zero after taking an introductory international relations course uh, a year and a half ago. And I was introduced to the concept of nuclear zero. and. You know, my, it was something that my intuition told me that, you know, the world should be posturing itself for. But at the time, I really, I, I didn't really believe it was possible. Uh, but I started to study the issue more, and I started to get more involved. Um, through Mutual Friend, I learned about, learned about Global Zero. So at the end of August, I attended one of the lunch sessions in Washington, D.C. And I started to get more convinced that Global Zero was actually possible. And I realized that, you know, regardless of how challenging it's going to be, uh, this is an issue that, you know, the world really must prepare itself for, and that this is a world that we should have. Um, and I mentioned it before, but I really think this issue is about people and the threats they should not have to live with. Uh, 
and I'm really excited to be working for Global Zero and you know being at the forefront of fighting for a world free of nuclear weapons. So yeah, Global Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Taj. No problem.